Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the XOC G300 M.2 NVMe SSD. This is available in multiple storage capacities. We have the 512 gigabyte version here. I do wanna mention that XOC did send me this drive, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this drive or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. Front and center, they walk you through the key tech specs for this drive. First, it's PCIe Gen 3.0, and its read speeds are up to 3,500 megabytes per second, and its write speeds are up to 3,200 megabytes per second. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Inside we have one drive, that's it. This is all we get in the box. Take a look, we have our product sticker and label on it, letting us know more information about our drive very thin, small and compact. You'll see it from the back side right there. Now let's go ahead, let's get it installed. We're at our test bench. We have an open drive slot right there. We'll go ahead, we'll line it up. The pins will only fit one way. So in this case, we're just gonna gently press it in place, push down, then we have a tool-free installation with our mount right here. So now we have the drive installed. Let's see how fast it is. So the drive's advertised performance is 3,500 megabytes per second read and 3,200 megabytes per second write. Let's see what sort of real world performance we get. First up with Nova Benchmark, we averaged about 1,700 megabytes per second for read speeds and 2,800 megabytes per second for write speeds. In Crystal Disk Mark, we averaged about 3,200 megabytes per second read and 3,000 megabytes per second write. Using ASSSD, we averaged about 2,500 megabytes per second read and 2,000 megabytes per second write. Using Black Magic, our read speeds averaged about 2,400 megabytes per second and our write speeds averaged about 2,300 megabytes per second. Now, if you're wondering about the value of this drive compared to the competition, we're right at the average of about eight cents per gigabyte. And they don't have any compromises with their five year warranty. That's slightly above average where you typically see four or five years. So far, so good with the G300 drive. Let me share with you my final thoughts. Here's what you need to know. Gen 3 drives are great. If you're still using a 2.5 inch SSD, look no further. If your system supports it, you definitely want to get on the NVMe M.2 storage train. We're now on to Gen 5 speeds, but for a lot of you out there, that's going to be overkill for any sort of application in use you would do day to day. For content creators, video editors, gamers, streamers, all that good stuff, sure, you want the fastest speeds available to support your file transferring, recording, encoding, and all of that good stuff. But again, there's also this price to performance ratio. As the performance increases, the price increases. So Gen 3 is very, very budget friendly with fantastic performance still. So these are great for primary drives or as secondary drives for video or file storage anything along those lines where you want to have faster speeds, but maybe not the fastest speeds available and you don't want to pay for it because you'd rather put that money towards a larger storage capacity. That's where a drive like this is going to really excel.